Today we are grooming Momo, the four-year-old Pomeranian. Stay tuned until the end of this video if you'd like to witness the adorable Pom party. Okay, little Pom, let's go into our nice warm soapy bath water. Okay, Momo. Good boy, Momo. You're gonna stay in there. You gotta stay in there, okay? Okay, it's nice and warm. So Momo's sister did not go into the tub just because she was a little bit too rotund to fit in the tub. He is a lot smaller, so he fits nice. And I just think he would appreciate it more. He's a very anxious little dog. He's nervous. You can tell by his quick panting that he is nervous and scared. And he's been very yappy the whole time. He's been in here. Right, buddy? Okay. You're okay, let's turn this way. Come on. You guys have told me to try this with Melvin in the tub. So next time I groom Melvin, I'm gonna try him in the tub. Something tells me he's still going to dive out of it to his impending death, but we will try. Okay, stay, 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 stay. Good boy. So I can tell when grooming both Momo and his sister that they are dogs that have alopecia X. And that is because solely from the texture of their fur, it's very rough feeling, almost like a wooly type feeling, like a sheep would feel. And my Pomeranians, I have two, as you know, Melvin has alopecia, Gidget does not. Melvin has the same rough type of fur as these two, and Gidget has a very soft fur. So she does not have the typical coat feeling of a dog with alopecia X. And that is how I can tell that these dogs definitely have this. Now, his sister apparently was shaved at six months old, and they think that that's what probably caused it. But I'm going to say, although that is a very big possibility, since this is a sibling to the sister, they are related, it is more than likely genetic. Right, buddy? Right? Important to remember that alopecia just means hair loss. It's not a medical condition. It doesn't affect them medically in any way. It doesn't cause itching or burning or irritation. The skin is healthy. It's just hair loss and it's no big deal, right? You guys are still both very, very cute. Oh, oh, okay, don't fall. Turn this way, come on. This water, now they get groomed, she said every four weeks and this water is very dirty. I'm about to dump it out and you're gonna see how dirty it is. You guys are gross. Okay, now I'm gonna let you out of here. Stay here, okay, stay right there. You can see how dirty this water is. It's very brown. You're gross. You're a gross little thing. You're okay. You're okay, Momo. Now, they told me that Momo suffered some, a brain injury when he was young and it makes him a little bit more slow <laughs> than a average Pomeranian. I would say so far his behavior is that of a typical Pom, but you're kind of like Melvin when Melvin fell off the couch and hit his head and then he just turned into a big weirdo. Okay, what I gotta shake for and ruin it, huh? You're funny. Okay, I'm gonna rinse you. No, no, you're trying to back out of the tub like Melvin. Two peas in a pod. No, no, you stay there. Look, look at him, backing out. Stay in here.
apparently if you show me your butt, you think I can't groom you. Okay, a little bit of conditioner to try and soften up that rough feeling fur. Stop giving me your butt. Just stay there. You're okay. Oh boy. I know a lot of you have been asking me when my course is going to come out. So the first course coming out is just your basic teddy bear haircut tutorial for dogs that do not shed. And I am a bit delayed in editing this course to my expectations. So it's taking me longer than I anticipated. So I'm thinking it's going to be out by the end of November or potentially December. So if you know of anybody that's interested in this course, maybe it would make a good Christmas gift. All of the products and tools I use in the course will be mentioned and listed. The, hey, the majority of them can be purchased from my website, girlwiththedogs.com. So whoever is looking for just your basic haircut so that you can do your haircuts at home and not have to pay your groomer, this course will be good. We will be doing courses on various different breeds and different types of cuts and de-shedding processes. So just stay tuned and be patient. Remember that I do edit almost all of my videos myself. So grooming and editing takes quite some time and that means that I am very behind on editing the course, unfortunately. Let's dry you up. Am I gonna have to put you in the rage cage? Spray him down and the stuff for dogs to make brushing easier. Because he has alopecia, he doesn't have as much hair as the average palm. So he dries quick and he's easy to brush out because he doesn't have that dense, thick undercoat that the average Pomeranian has. So you're like a breeze to groom. It's like grooming little Melvin. He's got no hairs. boy. Now normally I would do a little bit of a tidy up on palms with scissors but I'm not going to do that today because his coat is so thin that if I go and tidy up certain spots of him I feel like it's going to make it even more thin looking. I don't know. I'll brush him out and then I'll see what I want to do. Okay, little boy. Oh, you're gonna go outside and have a grand old time. If you guys wanna learn more about alopecia, 
for certain things you can do to help their coat. You can check out the video of his sister on Girl With The Dogs. This is Girl With The Dogs 2. This is my second channel on YouTube. So just check out the regular first channel, Girl With The Dogs, the main channel for the video of his sister. And that video gives more information on how to care for dogs with alopecia. down little thing calm down you're okay he's got like these wispy hairs here and here and here his tail obviously is very ratty looking <laughs> so if I wanted to even this out I could take my thinning shears and I could trim this and this, and it would kind of be more like a teddy bear type look. Okay, let's do your nails and paws first, and then I will give you a little bit of a tidy up. Gotta stand up though for me in order for me to do this properly. So he's got like these flyaways here that I don't really like. So I'm just gonna tidy those up. Okay, just a quick little tidy up of those flyaways, those long hairs where he's lost hair because of his alopecia, but some of those long hairs remained. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. This tail, there isn't much you can do with, unfortunately, unless you take it short, which I'm not going to do just in case it's something the owners wouldn't want. This little nugget is all finished. We're gonna go outside and have a play date with Gidget and Malvin. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in a few days.